In this video, I'm going to talk about the easiest way to explain the Fibonacci retracement when it comes to trading price action. So whether you are day trading cryptocurrencies, forex or indices, I will show you the best way to benefit from a Fibonacci retracement tool in your trade. So hello everyone and welcome back to Dr. et al. Today in this video, I will tell you in simple language to explain all these complicated topics you think like Fibonacci retracement. Are you curious about it? I will explain to you in a very simple way. To start, I want to tell you about Fibonacci retracement. Let us talk directly about the concept. Fibonacci is a famous person who has given us these numbers and ratios and said these numbers are natural and the whole of nature follows these numbers. Fibonacci retracements are seen all over the nature, which is how humans and nature behave. Fibonacci numbers are ratios which come from the Fibonacci sequence, are significant in how patterns happen in nature. They show how math and nature are connected, like how leaves are arranged on a stem, the spirals in seashells, and many more. Not every pattern in nature follows Fibonacci exactly, but they are still widespread showing nature's balance and effectiveness. The beauty of Fibonacci patterns is interesting to scientists and artists because it affects how we see the world. So here the question is, can these Fibonacci numbers be applied to the stock market? The answer is yes. Subscribe. Can. It's observed that the market's critical levels of support and resistance exist in price action dynamics. These levels indicate points where the price tends to respond significantly. Fibonacci analysis helps identify these essential support and resistance zones more precisely. By utilizing Fibonacci retracement levels, traders gain insight into how the market may react at these key levels. Essentially, Fibonacci analysis aids in understanding and predicting potential price movements based on these support and resistance levels. So what exactly is retracement? Price movements typically follow a trend in trading dictating how the market behaves. Once a trend forms, the market tends to move in the same direction. However, there is a key concept called retracement within this ongoing movement, whether upward or downward. Let's talk about when the trend is upward. Prices generally rise, showing bullish momentum in the market. However, even in this upward momentum, there are moments when price temporarily shift direction. This temporary shift known as a retracement and it is a natural part of the market flow. But how much retracement will happen? Whenever there is a question, it is important to know the solution to that question. How much retracement the price will take or we can calculate it ourselves from the support resistance that the important support is on the level. Here from Fibonacci retracement, we will identify support when the uptrend is going on. In case of a downtrend, the price retrace also happen to identify resistance. We must identify how much the retracement can be, what we will get from this, and what the benefit is. It is important to know if the price is going on into an uptrend, and if there is a retrace, then suppose you could not buy it in the starting, which was a very good stock now you go to buy it again then when the retrace happens so you can buy it again there is a buying opportunity after that price goes up it will become resistance again and the price will retrace down how much will it retrace we can take it out with fibonacci's help for instance important levels will tell us similarly if the price is falling let's say you are subscribed and have shortened any of your position so if you short then you fell and now you see you fell again you want to retake the entry because you missed it okay you have come to know how much the rate will increase after that the price starts falling and after that you hit the entry again and boom so that is what you have to understand okay let's come to the trading view as i'm using it from the tools here the fib you see is fibonacci Suppose that the market is bearish, which means there is a downtrend. So you can see where the price goes from the top to bottom. Then how is Fibonacci plotted? You take the Fibonacci from the above, meaning we will mark the high and drag it to the low, like from top to bottom. When the price goes down, you had a high and you brought it from high to low. On the other hand, if an uptrend is going on, you have to mark it from bottom to up. You take Fibonacci from the bottom, meaning you will first mark the low and drag it towards the high 
like from bottom to top when the price goes up. I have opened the chart of BTC here. What do you notice? It's a downtrend. The trend is running and it is confirmed because after a high, a lower high is formed. Okay, so you had a lower high after the high and the price has found support here. So you have a high and low and the price is falling. You could see a lot of red candles being formed. So did you understand that the price is falling? Does this mean you are seeing that the price is in its downtrend? Will it continue to fall in the downtrend? The answer is no. It will rise a little, then it will fall and it will rise again. This is how it happens. Now let's consider how much will it rise. Imagine you are trading live and witnessing the price falls from its peak, finding support at a certain level. Next, the price is expected to rise. How much will it rise? If you have plotted Fibonacci levels, you will notice that the key levels are 0%, 23.6%, 38.2%, 50%, 61.8%, 78 78.6% and 100%. These ratios, including the golden ratios, which are considered in trading are 23.6%, 38.2% and 61.8%. Now let's take an example from top to bottom. So we take the example of Ethereum here. You can see that the price is continuously falling. Let's assume that at that time you were doing live trade and you took Fibonacci. You see high here it is and at one point this is low came to me. Okay, I will go from here to this high to this low. Look at this. We plot it so that we can take a Fibonacci level from high to the low. Now you see that the price started to fall coming to 23.6% resistance so you see subscribe that resistance is found around the same level and the price started falling and after falling when it broke its baseline the price went further down when it goes down again it can be retraced let's take another example from bottom to top here i'm looking at the time frame of five minutes keep in mind that fibonacci retracement levels are more significant on a higher time frame than on a lower time frames but you still could get some good scalps on the 5 minute chart. You see the price is going up. If the price is going up now, there is a trend. So where do we plot the Fibonacci? We will plot the Fibonacci from down to up. Now here, this is the low and this is the high. And we want to see how far down the price will go to go up again. So from low, this was low and this is our high. Let me see how far it will go down before going up again. So if the price starts falling, then the first important move is 23.6%. It broke it and then 38.2% broke it too. Then you see the price has reacted well to around the 50% level. That seems important. Another 61.8% did not reach the level here for us. As soon as it started rising, it crosses the 50% level. Now what can you see? The price is again in its trend. It will only go up so the price comes from 50 percent to 38.2 percent then it reacted at 23.76 percent level and after that if it comes down again what will it react to around its fibonacci number 23.76 percent moreover the price goes up so now you have plotted the fibonacci trend from bottom to up so that you can learn that it can be on a retrace level now the important thing is that if it crosses this 78.6% too, subscribe will change. So you will not get trade similarly or in a downtrend. Also, if it gives a 78.6% level, then after that, there is no retracement from here. The trend itself has changed. So you just had to understand this. From the Fibonacci retracement, what you found out was that when the price was in its trend, the important support levels were detected. Likewise, when the price was in its downtrend, important resistance levels were detected. So far, in the examples we have explored, I have emphasized the importance of identifying high and low points in the market. Once you have pinpointed these extremes within a given time frame, you have the foundational data for conducting Fibonacci analysis. Connecting these high and low points enables us to delve deeper into the market potential trajectory. This connection serves as a basis for understanding how far the price may move and identifying potential resistance levels. For instance, after connecting the highest and lowest points, we observe the market's reactions at key Fibonacci levels. Therefore, whenever you engage in trading activities, it is essential to establish a connection between the highest and lowest points within the time frame you are analyzing. This approach provides valuable insights into potential market movements and helps inform you trading decisions effectively. That's all from our site. We will see you in the next
next video if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe now and click on the bell icon if you have any questions then ask in the comments if you want us to make a video on a specific topic then you can also go to the comment we will try to make videos for you and we will see you in the next video take care and have a good day